citizen, ladies and gentlemen, take Arsenal seriously. If I were you, I'll take Arsenal seriously. So hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Football with Priscilla. I am Priscilla, obviously. So hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And ladies and gentlemen, I am just from watching the Arsenal versus Liverpool game. What a game of football. I also watched earlier on the Tottenham versus Everton game. What a wonderful game of football. So I just want us to talk about the games that were played with regards to Arsenal versus Liverpool as well as Tottenham versus Everton. But before we get into the video for today, make sure you share, like and subscribe. Make sure you share, like and subscribe and do turn your notifications on to know when next I post a video. Now listen ladies and gentlemen, I watched the Arsenal versus Liverpool game what a game it was end to end it was interesting it was intense it was exciting something that we cannot say about manchester united right but listen that game was very interesting i predicted a 2-1 win for liverpool but it ended up being 1-1 so i'm not so far off right and i think both teams played well i think arsenal today played well but i honestly didn't think they played to their best um the way we know arsenal can play and I think they did that because sometimes you can't be as attacking and as direct as you always are. If you're playing a team like Liverpool who have the likes of uh, Diaz, Mo Salah, Zobo Sly, um, they have the likes of, uh, what's his name, this guy? Nunes, right? So you can't be as direct. But I think Arsenal did hold themselves well. And maybe, ladies and gentlemen, it's actually time we start um, looking at Arsenal and thinking maybe they are actually premier league contenders now i know we've been saying this but they are genuinely for me looking like premier league contenders because they're not dropping points easily every opponent they have faced this thus far ladies and gentlemen they have been going at them directly they have not been afraid so i think it's high time we look at arsenal and go like hmm they are really title contenders and serious title contenders this season now that's not to say liverpool has not been doing the same liverpool dropped points to manchester united as well as arsenal and i think it's fair these two teams well arsenal is not an easy team to beat manchester united was a miracle let's just be honest um and i think it's fair to say liverpool is also chasing arsenal right they are not losing points liverpool is not a team that will go down easily so going into the year 2024 seeing arsenal and liverpool chasing each other with one point is going to be very interesting now if i were arsenal i'd be very afraid let's not forget this is the liverpool that chased man city all the way until the end right so if arsenal if i'm an arsenal fan i'm looking at liverpool and being nervous because once liverpool latch on they don't easily let go they don't but listen, both teams played well. Liverpool played amazingly well. The never die attitude. Obviously, we're seeing the awakening of a beast, which is Liverpool. Um, one thing I've noticed about Liverpool is they don't have the quality that they used to have in the final third when they had Mane, Firmino and Salah. Now, I'm not saying that they're not good with scoring goals anymore, but that quality is not there. Like, they were clinical, and that clinicalness is not there. Diaz is good, yes. Nunes, oh my God. Mo Salah is still clinical, but when Mane and Firmino left, that clinicalness hasn't been the same. But listen, that was a very intense and interesting game, and it's going to be interesting seeing how these two go head-to-head. -head. Because let's not forget... There's Man City who just comes in January from nowhere and everyone's just like, really? We thought it's Liverpool and Arsenal. Now Man City comes from nowhere and boom, they're on top. So if I'm an Arsenal fan, I'm hoping Liverpool don't go ahead of me because you don't want a team like Liverpool going ahead of you. So listen, ladies and gentlemen, take Arsenal seriously. If I were you, I'll take Arsenal seriously. Now the other team that I want us to talk about, ladies and gentlemen, is Tottenham who have been playing interesting and amazing football can i just say this human son what a delight of a player i will forever say this he is one of the most underrated players in the premier league i've been saying this for the longest period of time oh my gosh if i had a dollar for every single time i said that human son is underrated i'd be a billionaire he's an amazing player the way he's carrying tottenham like we thought after hurricane oh my gosh tottenham will have nothing but human son i think has been a huge part of tottenham season and the way they are playing is amazing to see they are very direct you don't want a team like tottenham coming at you direct they are an amazing team and what their coach has done with them absolutely amazing the way they are playing the way they are fighting for each other has just been amazing to see so listen ladies and gentlemen Tottenham might actually make top four. Like, there are many spots for top four. I mean, Manchester United and Chelsea clearly don't want to be part of top four. So I'm seeing Tottenham 
trying their best to be part of top four. It won't be shocking if they end up the season being in the top four. If Huminson and Richarlison are fit, Tottenham will enjoy themselves. Like, the way they are playing football is just beautiful to watch. I always look forward to seeing a Tottenham game. So listen, isn't it funny? The Tottenham coach only came just now, right? This season. Yet we can see their style of play. Yet we can see results. But if it's that other team, that shall not be measured. Manchester United. We see nothing. So it's very interesting what's happening with Tottenham. I wouldn't want to play Tottenham right now because they are high on confidence and they are playing amazingly well. So ladies and gentlemen, there's always a shuffle with regards to the Premier League table every single weekend. And now we can see that Liverpool is chasing Arsenal closely and Tottenham is little by little finding itself in top four. So ladies and gentlemen, do comment down in the comment section. Do you think this season... Arsenal might actually get it because last season I was like nah but this season do y'all think they have a real shot at it or they're going to do the most Arsenal thing and bottle it comment down in the comment section I'd really love to hear your thoughts so yeah so that's all I had for you guys today thank you so much guys for watching make sure you share like and subscribe make sure you share like and subscribe and do turn your notifications on to know when next I post a video bye